You too. What it do? Be my fan. Welcome back. You new to the channel? Just call me Kev. How's it look? Nah. Today we gonna talk about the movie Eyes Wide Shut. Now Eyes Wide Shut uh, was written and directed by Stanley Kubrick. Uh, it starred Tom Cruise and Nicole. Nicole something. I forgot her last name, but <clears throat> anyway. So the movie the movie is about uh, it's this couple. Um, they they go to this party and. It, the, the party starts to cause like a little turmoil in a in a relationship because the girl she's 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 looking for like a some type of thrill you see what i'm saying and the dude tom cruise ends up going because of that he ends up going and, and seeking some party and, it, and this party that he goes to that's when this shit go down you see what i'm saying so it's, it's a lot of truth and plain sight uh in this movie so without further ado let's get right into it so the beginning scene uh is tom cruise and his wife nicole i forgot their names in the in the uh in the movie uh tom's name is charlie he's a very short dude you know what i'm saying i know she got heels on you know what i'm saying but he, he like he about five seven you know what i'm saying but <clears throat> anyway yeah so he's a doctor he's a doctor uh in this movie uh, I forgot what she do. I don't even know if she does anything. Maybe she's like a teacher or something. I don't, I don't remember. But uh, they're getting ready to go to this party that they get invited to uh, every year. Right. And uh, he was invited by uh, his friend. Notice, you know, the woman in the red dress. Now, uh, the color scheme uh, stays very consistent within this movie. So these people that are at this party, now this this not the real party. This just the the happy, you know, like go lucky, you know what I'm saying? Like just this the face value party, right? So it's a lot of a lot a lot of successful people in this party. But notice how uh, they're wearing black, right? Everyone that that's a part of this party is wearing black. Uh, Tom Cruise and his wife, they're dancing. Uh, they just they vibe everybody's vibing to the music it's a nice party you know everybody chilling and we notice the band uh the band i noticed the difference uh in the band and the people in the party the band is wearing white and everyone that's a part of the party is either wearing black or some type of red you see what i'm saying most of them are wearing black so this resembles like the knowing and the unknowing you see what i'm saying they're just here to play the piano they're just here to give entertainment they're really not um a part of uh what's really going on that's that's the symbol that's the symbolism behind uh these colors not saying that they're all in some occult but I'm, just to show you they make sure that you notice uh the difference between each other so tom cruise he actually recognizes this guy because he went to school with him All right so once again look at the band in white and everyone else in black so once once they get done playing the the music the song uh tom decides to catch up with his old friend right and they just making you know small talk he's telling them you know now he he plays in a band he's he always looking for gigs and whatnot but just notice the color scheme right it's, it's very consistent throughout this whole movie with uh this color scheme and it's there for a reason they want you to notice it and then um since he's gone since tom is gone his wife uh starts dancing with this uh hungarian guy right and he's he's flirting with her telling her you know all sweet little nothings you know what i'm saying like damn near about to sweep her off her feet you feel me and tom he gets some girls come his way not not notice the colors that they wear you see what i'm saying this this is symbolizing like in those type of parties these would be the girls that are there for quote unquote entertainment if that makes sense to you right everyone else is wearing black they're wearing black for a reason and these these other characters they're wearing off colors right they letting you know that they not really a part of what's going on they just there for the entertainment 
So they start flirting with Tom, you know what I'm saying? Damn near, damn near, then, then swindle him up out his drawers, you know what I'm saying? But did did nothing really crazy go on? They nobody cheated at this point. They didn't cheat on each other. Uh, so uh, at, upstairs in the party, uh, the guy that invited Tom to the party, uh, he's upstairs uh, with a woman, and she has no clothes on. And you can already tell what he's doing. He's putting his pants back on, but she looks very incoherent. You know, so he calls because she's unconscious at this point. So he calls uh, for Tom because he's a doctor. And he and he tries to uh, get get him to uh, see what's wrong. See if he can, you know, get her back to her normal state because she's obviously uh, she's obviously been drugged, right? So he's looking at her. And I have to bleep this out so I don't get taken down. But she's completely naked. And he's looking at her eyes. She's obviously sedated. You know what I'm saying? And he basically tells the girl um, that you need to stop taking these drugs. You need to, you know, Tom's really playing like devil's advocate at this point. He knows what's going on. But he's telling the girl, like, you need to lay off the drugs. You need to lay off the drugs. Kind of gaslighting the girl a little bit. All right. And the man, the man thanks Tom for what he do for what he's done. You know, he tells him, you know, keep this between us. Don't really don't tell nobody what just happened. He put his clothes back on and they return to the party. All right. So later on that night, you know, the party's over with. The party's over with, and now they're discussing uh, basically what happened at the party and come to find out that this, the, the wife has been having some type of dreams. At this point, she just wants to see Tom like angry. She wants to make him jealous, right? She 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 feel like she feel like uh, Tom don't give a fuck. You know, and that's that's something women, you know, what I'm saying that's what they like to do. They like to know that they can get up under your skin. So that's what she's doing right here. So she's telling him how she's been having some type of fantasy about this dude she seen in the hallway. And she was fantasizing about him ever since. Right. So Tom kind of let it slide a little bit. He kind of let it slide. But it 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 it, it kind of triggered him a little bit. But he he tried to let it slide at the same time. So later on, uh, a, a hooker approaches him, and you know wanna 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 give him the goodies. You know what I'm saying? And but this this really it, it really wasn't nothing that came up out of it. You know he went to her house, but nothing happened. Nothing happened at the end of the day. He, he he couldn't bring himself to uh, cheat on his wife, but uh, he goes to a bar and he runs into his friend again. So this one is about to start getting crazy. So he runs into his friend again, the same one that was playing uh, at the party. He was playing in the band, and his friend tells him, uh, "Cause cause Tom right now he he's he just trying to get into something at this point." He pissed off from what his wife told him. So now he's just trying to get into something. He's just trying to go to some type of function. You know what I'm saying? So the dude is telling him how this exclusive party that he goes to and they have him play the piano, but he plays it blindfolded the whole time. He doesn't see anything that goes on in the party. All he knows is he's there to play the piano and he plays it blindfolded. So now Tom is kind of interested in, in what this party is about. So the guy tells him, he tell he tells him the address. He says it's gonna happen at such and such time tonight. And and the thing about it, you have to wear a mask to get in. You have to wear a mask. And then he told him the password. So now Tom is he now he on a mission. You see what I'm saying? He's on a mission. To find out what what what's going on at this party so he goes down to the downtown shop 
uh, it was called rainbow so now he's looking for a, a, a disguise a mask like the man like like the dude told him to do so he's sitting there with the owner of the shop looking for a, a, a disguise and they they kind of they kind of hint to it uh to his daughter being some type of sex slave because she got caught uh with some grown men so already they already alluding to you know child you know weird child things going on you know we not going you know you got to be very very careful when you talk about these kids bro on youtube but y'all what's understood don't got to be explained so they they already alluding to that type of thing going on right so so now he he mad he, he mad as hell but he still give tom uh the the proper disguise he needs so the story goes on so now tom pulls up first of all he gets out of a taxi right now remember these things these things are going to come back later on so tom gets out the taxi uh and he approaches the gates of this party and they ask him for the password and he says it they open the gate and they take them they take them to the front of the of the mansion now mind you now the crazy part about this mansion um this is actually this was filmed this part of the movie was filmed in one of the houses that were built uh for the rothschilds in the early 1800s 1850 this this scene was actually filmed at one of the homes of the rothschilds so that tell you a lot you need to know right there right so we get into the house we get into the mansion they ask him for a second password he says the password they let him in he puts his mask on now he's walking through the party right now he puts his disguise on he puts his cloak you know with his mask so now he's walking through the party he ain't got no business being at right so now he walks into a room and it's some type of ritual going on right where everybody's in black once again rem remember that black right everybody's in black you got your mans right here in white once again the color scheme stays consistent he's the white he's the unknowing he's the unknowing to what's really going on he's just on that piano playing and he blindfolded everybody else is in black and the high i guess you could say like the high priest is in red he's the one that's conducting this whole ceremony this whole ritual and somebody somebody made like an interesting um now I'm, I'm not gonna run with it but um some of these figures are very small i know i know they're i know they're uh sitting down but a lot of these figures look small so maybe he was alluding to especially this one over here uh he could have been alluding to you know he wasn't gonna full out show it uh being being happened you know uh with the kids but when they stand up they're all they're full fully grown adults but just in this part where they have these hoods on they look very very small you know so maybe that's what he was trying to show you low key that you know the uh it's a lot of you know kids going going through these these rituals all right so moving on you got my man's playing the piano blindfolded only one in white because everybody else is a part of it all right so of course we're gonna have to blur this out but uh the priest he bangs his staff twice and the women take off their clothes so these are the women that's about to get passed around in this party now i'm not sure if these women are trying to be models i'm not sure if these women are trying to be uh singers like professional um you know uh models or professional like actresses but they about to get passed around and one of the guys one of the guys that's at the party now i'm not sure if this is the same guy that invited tom to the normal party but the way he looks at tom it's like he notices something you know he looks at him in an odd in an odd fashion you know this might be you know the man and his wife right there 
so uh tom's looking right back at him they looking at each other you see what i'm saying and he he it, it's almost like he notices that he doesn't belong right so now we we move on and one of the girls now now the girls once 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 he taps his staff again those girls they separate and they choose who they want to go with they just walk up to somebody and kiss them that's how they let that's how they let that person know uh that 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 that's who they gonna go with you see what i'm saying so this other girl notice 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 the horns right here but uh she grabs tom by his by his shoulder and she kiss him and and, and now she's taking him night but a few people they know that he don't have no business being there right so she's telling him like you have no idea what you're doing right now like you need to get the fuck out of here like you need to find i don't know how you about to find a way but you need to find a way to get the fuck on because this is not the place for you to be this was she's telling him that's why she picked him right so they separate another dude take her upstairs you already know you you, you know what i'm saying but he he takes her upstairs and she's never seen again well that's a no not yet not yet she's gonna come up again later on but for this moment you know we don't see her anymore uh so tom's just walking around this party and just everybody just naked everybody just fucking in front of everybody you know and everybody just sitting around watching they taking turns with these women you see what i'm saying so this this is they showing you the insides of, of, of the elite you know parties that go on this is what goes on they showing you right in front of you so my man he 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 didn't he didn't got one of the girls he didn't he didn't got one of the girls too and he looks at tom again he sees tom now this is um this is the piano player right remember the piano player so they take him somewhere i don't know if he was i don't know if he was taking him to to do something it's one or two things that he was taking him to go do but we finna we i'm finna unravel uh the second one later on now the first one it's already on your mind you know what i'm saying but I, i'm leaning towards it being another reason I, i'm gonna get into that later just just remember that you've seen this and he takes that man off notice he still has his blindfold on all right so he takes him we never see him again in the movie we never see him again so now tom so now this person this person is leading tom into another another room all right so now this room i think it's back in the same room so now everybody's everybody's circling around everybody's staring at him now so now now the jig is up you know it, it it's up everybody knows that he has no business being there so they make him they make him reveal himself in front of everybody he's the only one that has revealed himself in this party right so the girl the, the girl from earlier that that was trying to tell him to get the fuck on she shows her face again and she like no take me instead because they was finna kill dude they was finna kill dude because he didn't see some shit that he was not supposed to see he is not supposed to be here so they they was finna they was finna they told him he was about to get naked and they was gonna you know what i'm saying they was gonna do him in but old girl she stepped in and she was like no take me all right so they take that girl somewhere now at this point we never see this girl again well i keep lying <laughs> you see her again later on but not in this same condition so everybody looks up and all oh, they're like oh everybody gasping you know like what that was unheard of like she just about to just give herself up just to save him right because later because later on you you find out that this girl this was the same girl that was drugged up at the other party that tom saved so she felt like she had an obligation you see what i'm saying i gotta save him now because he saved me you back at that party this was the same girl that was drugged up so she volunteered herself 
and, and they telling Tom like whatever you seen here you see that little finger that's that stern little finger you know what I'm saying when somebody trying to tell you you know your mama well if you don't get your fucking ass down you know what I'm saying he giving them that stern finger like look whatever you seen you not about to say shit you hear me you not about to say a word and they let him go they let Tom go they let Tom go Tom get home he lay down he lay down but his wife his wife sitting there telling him like she woke up she was having some type of dream and she in, in her dream she was telling Tom how it was a bunch of men and she was naked and she was just fucking all the men that was her dream so i don't i don't know i don't know if she was up in this party i don't know if she was up in this party somewhere but that was an interesting dream to have after he just left from where he left that's why he looking like what the fuck you see what i'm saying like this is what she says bro she tells him she had a dream and it was just a bunch of people and she was just fucking all of them so i'm like what the hell i don't know what type of time she on like she crying telling him and he just he just sitting there like he because he didn't know he knows what he's seen and and, and she's saying that same, it's like a wild synchronicity you know so later on so now he's looking for his friend that told him about the party and they said he 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 was seen uh the guy this guy told tells him he's at a hotel right now he's at nick's hotel that was his name nick the guy that told him about the party the piano player so he goes he asked the hotel manager like have you seen him and they was like yeah i did see him uh it was two men they they, they was taking him from his room he had a black eye right he had a black eye that's what he told him that the man that told him about the party had a black eye this same this same guy right here so they they probably didn't took him you feel me and beat him the fuck up because if if he had never told tom about this party he wouldn't even been there you see what i'm saying he he was opening his mouth so yeah we never we never see dude again after this scene so i don't know where he at i don't know if they didn't did him in or what but the next day tom decides to go back because he's trying to he trying to piece the puzzle together at this point he trying to figure out what the where was i just at like what the fuck was that so he goes back obviously nobody's at the gate but this old man comes his old man comes and gives him a letter he hands tom a letter gets back in the car and pulls off so in his letter it says give up your inquiries give up your inquiries which are completely useless and consider these words a second warning because remember that man with that stern finger he told him the first that was the first warning so now he didn't came back so now this your second warning we hope for your own good that this will be sufficient we hope this gonna be the last time we gonna have to warn you we're not playing with you dude because he don't understand the magnitude of where he was just at you see what i'm saying so now he's walking in the street at night uh he buys a new he's buying a newspaper and he noticed uh somebody is like trying to let him know like yeah we know where you at at all times like he's being followed at this point he's being followed so they trying to send him a message like you better stop you know you better stop trying to piece this motherfucking puzzle together like you better stop so he noticed the dude, you know, trying to send him a signal, right? And he reads in the paper that that lady, uh, she she had an overdose and died, right? So that's what he reads in that paper. That girl that saved him uh, died. She was an ex beauty queen. She was Miss New York. So she was a uh, like I said. That's why I say I don't know if those women were women that was trying to be somebody, you know, in the industry. I don't know is that's if that's why they was getting passed around because that's what has to happen you know when these women try to be you know yeah, that was just what happened what had had to what happened to happen uh when he walked in that was the type of ritual ritual that was going on 
was those women was getting passed around and 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 if you notice this was miss new york so that's why i said i don't know if those other women at that party was like trying to become like one in the industry but yeah she died bro she died they said they said they covered it up they said she overdosed and he even went to the morgue he went down to the morgue to see her body and she was in fact dead you know what i'm saying and this was the same girl that he saved uh, at the party and in return she saved him she sacrificed her life for him because he has seen too much right so now like the end like towards the end uh that same guy right the same guy uh invites tom over to have a talk and basically he gaslights tom the whole time he like bro like everything you seen like that shit was fake like he's he's trying to tell he's trying to convince him that like everything you seen like like don't even take it serious like and he was like well what about the girl like what about the girl that died i seen her dead body the one that saved that saved me and he was like gaslighting the fuck out of time like he was like bro didn't you read the paper like she overdosed like you told her like remember when she was at the party you told her yourself that she needed to lay off the drugs you you said that remember tom like he like everything that happened like all this coercion all this like threatening that people are doing all this sending you warnings this is all just a, a fake to to scare you he was making it seem like it was all fake but tom like hell no that shit wasn't fake he like what about that dude he like what about that dude the you know the piano player that invited me over and this 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 one you knew what really went down right because he started getting mad this dude right here he started getting mad he like he like fuck that guy he like he he, he should have got more than what he got because i'm the one that told i'm the one that invited him to these people and he fucking embarrassed me if he never told you you wouldn't have never been there in the first place you see what i'm saying so you are already exposing that it wasn't fake you know you wouldn't be upset about him you see what i'm saying if it was just some some shit just for fun but he knew that man had seen too much so he was really just gaslighting him the whole time and he pulls that out and, and he mentions it because he know he know he's full of shit you know what i'm saying and, and it said it said that he might be um he he might have been this, this is a theory that he might have been the the red cloak the dude in the red cloak that banged his staff twice they said that might be him and they and they low-key try to tell you because if you notice the the pool table it's the same table you know it's kind of it kind of got that red you know what i'm saying the, the red table is the same as the red in that in that room and just the, just the subtle things that he was doing like when he when he banged on the staff twice he did the same thing with the with the cue ball he banged it twice but that's just a theory though that's just a theory so that they think maybe he was the one in the red cloak but yeah he gaslights the fuck out Tom. but tom know it's something he, he know it's something deeper he's just trying to like get him to just forget about this shit All right and now when he goes back home when tom goes back home the mask that he had on at the party now mind you the way he got rid of it right but when he got home the mask was sitting on his pillow right next to his wife so them folks them folks they was really this your last warning like to just forget about this shit and not say anything because we didn't got in your crib we could have did something to your you know what i'm saying we didn't got in your house and we didn't left this on your pillow for you to know that motherfucker we know where you at we know where you live we know where your wife at try us if you want to so that was the last little signal that they sent him and after that tom tom start crying he start crying the wife woke up he like, i'll tell you everything i'll tell you everything so he told her he told her everything that happened you know about the bitch that he almost fucked and all this shit so they wake up i mean yeah they they, they go they they take their daughter 
to a store because it's Christmas time. So the last the, the last scene, Tom says, uh, dreams uh, aren't just dreams. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, damn, so was this bitch really at the party? That's that's what you start to think. Like when he said, I'm like, damn, was this bitch really at the party? Because she said, God damn, she said she was around all the men so yeah and, and that's how it end like she she was like it's one thing we we just we just gonna forget about this but it's one thing we need to do uh, and then the movie ended bro the movie ended but that's that's pretty much like it like bro that movie that movie so crazy like it was it was like truth in plain sight and mind you uh stanley kubrick which was the writer and the director they said when he when he gave uh, the pre-screening to Tom Cruise, Nicole, these, these two on the screen, these two, these two right here, uh, they was there, uh, the directors, uh, a couple writers. So it was a, only a few people in this room that he pre-screened this movie to. And shortly after that, he died. So he died before this movie even came out. Dur during the production of the movie he died and it said that about 20 minutes uh, of, of footage is actually removed from this movie and only they know only only them in the um in that was in that room that he pre-screened that movie those are the only people that know about the footage that was in that was in the movie that got cut out so when he died they, they took over the they took over the movie you see what i'm saying so they they edited some shit out so it's, it was some shit in there that didn't make it to the but the, but they know Tom Tom know what was in that movie but he not gonna speak about it like you ask him they said even even he did an interview and just they body language and just they they whole energy like when they at when they got asked about Stanley Kubrick's death it was like they was real like scared to speak they was like real reluctant you know what I'm saying to speak to speak about it. But yeah, like even now, like they'll face a lot of legal issues and maybe even other things if they speak about uh, the footage that was because they had to sign contracts. So they can't even they can't to this day, they can't say uh, what 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 was in that footage. But. Yeah, man, y'all definitely y'all definitely do y'all research. Uh, watch this movie. I know I gave like almost like a 30 minute breakdown, but. It's, it's still like little things that I that I left out, you know what I'm saying? But it's still a good movie to watch. I didn't seen this movie like like three times, but yeah, that's 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 it for this breakdown, man. I'm out.